Hello, this is Shushankar Dyal, your host from LibriProgramming.org. Well, not really host, your helper. So, in this part of C programming, we will learn how to do matrix multiplication of two arrays. Now, matrices are typically two dimensional or more, maybe so, three dimensional, but two dimensional are generally used how to declare two matrices so a two dimensional matrix can be represented by a two dimensional array here i have used a 3 by 3 matrix matrix a and another 3 by 3 matrix b and then the product will be a 3 by 3 matrix which is c so this is the form of matrix i am using 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the prerequisite of uh, multiplication of two matrices is that number of uh, columns of first matrix should be equal to number of rows of second matrix and that will give you a resultant matrix whose number of rows will be equal to number of rows of first matrix and number of columns will be equal to number of columns of second matrix that is if you multiply a i j with b j k then you will get c i k where the first uh, alphabet is the matrix name second is the row name and third is the column name here i have manually multiplied <coughs> and shown the result of multiplication of two such matrices a and b a and b are both identical now to multiply this we need three loops that is it is an n cube operation although complex uh, algorithms exist to reduce the multiplication order a bit but uh, none give uh, below n square or equal to n square everything is greater than n square so sum is initially declared to zero and then we keep adding and we take uh, 0th we start with 0th and we proceed with the entire uh, uh, row column number uh, 1 2 3 remember that index of an array starts with 0 so the column 0 and row 0 will mean actually column 1 and row 1 and then i proceeded with the that particular uh, uh, row number of uh, b and then kept the column number constant and we increased the row number and then sum was computed and then finally once this innermost loop is done i store the sum in ij now remember it, this is not k this is j because here j is the column number of matrix b so b is not treated as jk it is kj and then that matrix is printed so remember our output is like this 30 60 600 2 36 80 126 42 96 150 so um, let's compile make a raise 7 and then we run it so we got our output so that was a simple program but for beginners it may turn out to be difficult uh, i'm also working on the new version of the book c programming and this will uh, deal with the latest specification c11 and simultaneously i am working on uh, uh, algebra book which will which is essential for studying uh, data structure and algorithms so keep visiting libreprogramming.org progress is slow but yes it will be done that is my promise thanks for watching the video